Hi guys, Renee Pizzotta here, Acting My Age. This week, I'm sitting down with James Eckhaus, actor, director, and master teacher. You should really study with him if you get the chance. James has been working for decades in television, film, and on stage, but you probably know him best from this little gem. James Eckhouse. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming and well, doing this. Well, I adore this. you, so I'm very uh, happy to be doing you're this. You're so sweet. It's yes. mutual. Listen, everybody's going to want to know this right off the bat. Uh oh, here it comes. Yes. 90210 original recipe. Reunion, true or false? Is that what it's called? <laughs> All I heard was that there was a meeting okay. with some of the cast talking about it. Okay. I was certainly not asked to be a part of that meeting, nor do I expect to be a part of the show. So <gasps> What are you saying? <clears throat> the Walsh parents have passed on? They probably passed on. <laughs> Let's talk about the serious stuff. This is serious. You are an amazing actor. No. Juilliard. Juilliard. At, at some point I went, I want to go to New York. And they were auditioning <clears throat> for Juilliard and I was like, oh, that sounds like an interesting program. And it, it, it was an extraordinary training. It really was, you know, it opened, opened my eyes to a lot of things. And yeah. my wife woke up one night and said, we're going to go to Los Angeles. And wow. I was like, you're insane. That's hell. That's like, you know, there's no culture. This is a terrible place to go. It was the best thing that ever happened to me because yeah. I felt much freer out here. Yeah. I've been a part of many theater companies. I've done a ton of stage work. I've directed on stage. I've directed on camera. I've had, I mean, I'm very, very, very lucky person. And probably because I do as much work as possible for as little money as possible. And it's really worked. You know, that's really, that's, that's, that's not the way to do it. That is the way to do it. I'm like, you know, would, would you do a reading tomorrow, you know, and you're going to have to get up at three o'clock in the morning and then we're going to rehearse it 10 times and then we're going to do it in a suitcase uh, somewhere off the 101. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll do it. It's great. In the suitcase. You know, it's like, I, I do everything, you know. And I, and so I you talk, don't say no. That's I don't say no. And that's also because one of the, one of the people, we, we, and, and we were very fortunate at the time. Uh, I graduated in 1980. It was Group 9. Uh, we had people like John Gilgood. He's from another generation, but John Gilgood was one of the most esteemed British actors, along with Olivier, you know, and, and Alan Guinness and all that. He was in that, that crowd. And John said something like, he said a couple of things that just got to me. I still think about them. He said, the first thing he said is, you know, well, well it, it takes 30 years to be an actor. And I was like, uh, no. I'm graduating, I'm going to work after, you know, it's like, no, I'm not, you know, it's not going to take me 30 years. I just spent a lot of money in four years at the school, uh, you know, he's right. I mean, and, and it sounds so pretentious, but you know, when you think about it, when you're going to hire a surgeon, I was just telling my class last night, you know, your surgeon comes, you know, you're going to hire a surgeon. There's one surgeon comes in and says, yeah, yeah, I really like, you know, I kind of like being a surgeon. It's really... You know, it's kind of cool. And what I'm thinking is, you know, I can I can get a I can do a couple of of uh, do a couple of big uh, surgeries, and then I'm going to get my house, and then I'm going to retire. You know, and the other person comes in. And, no, no, I've been doing it for 20 years, and going to be doing it for the rest of my life, and I'm always working on it. And you know, who are you going to hire to operate on your child or on you? Yeah, right? Absolutely. You want somebody who that's what they this is it for them. This yeah. is their passion, and they're an expert at it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and that's the same thing when you walk into a when you walk into a room, you exude that. Mm -hmm. And if it's like, yeah, I'm just going to try to get out, you know, I, I want to be a star in two years. Or, you know, get that series and then, or, I'm sorry, but that if that's what's in your mind, then it's all over you. But if you walk in and you're like, I'm an expert. This is my life. I'm going to have more confidence. I'm going to want you on my set. Mm -hmm. I remember John Kielgood saying, it, it, you know, he said, what did you, somebody asked, you know, like, how do you decide what roles you're going to do? Because, of course, he gets offered all, you know. And he goes, oh, darling, I'm a whore. <laughs> I do everything. And I suggest you do the same thing. Wow. And I was like, oh. But in a way, he's right. You never know what's going to lead to what. 
I teach a class, I meet you, now I'm on this, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> no, yes, you're on this Hey, I'm show. on this amazing <laughs> show, an amazing person, and it's yeah. really awesome. Cool. But, you know, it's that's how you make connections, and you start oh. creating stuff together. And so I do, I, my, 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 I tend to do, I don't take, don't call me and ask me, because I will say this. But, you know, and, and, and I, I always do theater, and, and have always done lots and lots of theater, and have been very fortunate. Now I'm a part of a company, I'm going to show it, I am a, I am a theater, I A M A. Nice. Um, I just directed a play out of Pasadena Playhouse. Oh, great. Yeah. Have you, did you always have a desire to get into directing? Was that, or did that I, I, happen? I, I had directed a lot in our theater company because everybody did everything, kind of, you know. And, and, I, and I was already directing on stage a lot. Yeah, for what happened in 902 when I was interesting because <clears throat> I came to Aaron and I said, you know, I would, I'd like to direct. And they, they were like, well, we don't want the show to turn into a 30-something, which, you know, at that mm -hmm, point, mm -hmm. everybody in 30-something, you know, who's Ken Holman, who's now yeah. showrunner, and Tim, Tim director. Busfield, yeah, yeah. he's an amazing director, yeah. um, who is my roommate in New York. Wow. Seven years, by the way. Six years. Um, it, you know, so there they was, and at that point, only Jason had directed. And so it was, God forbid, that somebody who's now in his, what was I, my 30s, 40s, <laughs> 40s, you know, and had, had all this experience. It was, I had to, like, it was really hard to get to. You know, well, you have to take classes. I went, okay. So I went to classes, and I observed with people, and I thought, this is never going to happen. And then one day, I'm sitting in the makeup chair, with you, and he said, well, director's fallen out. You have three days. You want to do it? And I was like, three days of prep. Never directed before. Wow. I'll do it. So I did it. You know, and That's it was great. awesome. You still have to audition for things. I still definitely have to audition for everything. The bad news is it still sucks. No, it doesn't. It's still it, all the terrors and all the angst and the stuff that you deal with. It never goes away. The process is a kind of a psychological jujitsu. It's like, how do I find my, how do I kind of land the plane so that when I go in the room and it's like, hello, that you're there, you're present. And, and and things are working and you're relaxed and, you know, well, that's no small potatoes. Yeah. E even for me who's doing it for a hundred years, it's mm -hmm. like, and it, it does not change. I've still got the same psychological hangups of judgment and dad and mom and all the issues. They're still there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so you're always dealing with it, I, I think. I mean, some people say, oh, no, now I'm over all that. Great. But, and I, the only thing that changes is the for the path through the forest is a little more familiar. Okay, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, yeah. I know what I got to do. Do the yoga. No, nope. get up. Do the yoga. You know, otherwise, brr, no, no coffee this morning. You know, whatever. You know, and it's like, oh, really? Yeah, really. And and put that. You know, talking heads on the way down. Come on now, scream in the car. You know, wh whatever it is. Stretch out at the audition. I have to go down the road. Mm -hmm. The road is now a little more familiar. But in a certain way, we get paid <laughs> to go down into our own chaos and kind of muck around in there a little bit and, and allow that to be there. Mm -hmm. The chaos of, you know, the hurricane coming or the earthquake or the accident that kills our loved one or the bomb going off for the diffuser or, you know, the chaos of daily life. I, I think that art is all about your relationship to chaos. Every audition, every performance, it's got to be an improvisation. It's got to be an improvisation. It, it, because I don't know what I was, I had no idea what questions you're going to ask me. I don't know, you know, people, people get caught up with choices and they go, oh, you know, I'm going to cry at that moment or it says I'm supposed to cry. You're going to have, a, you have a fight with your mother. Do you know you're going to cry? You're going to do everything possible not to cry. Right? right? You're not going to plan to cry when you say, well, mom, yeah. you know, no, it's, yeah. it's a negotiation. You're, you come in wanting something. You probably don't even want to have a scene. You're, That's you know, why Meisner's so good, I think. You know what I mean? Nothing like that keeps you like right there in the moment. I like to say, don't get wild by your emotion. Yeah. Learn to not get, not even whether there's nothing there or something there. But, you know, crying isn't like some art or right. some be-all and has nothing right. to do with it. You do what you need to do to get what you want and to get through this awful experience that you're in the middle of. Mm -hmm. Now, tears may come, and sometimes they may be manipulative. Sometimes it's like, you know, you just let your tears flow and hopefully your dad will give you the car, you know, whatever. Sure. But you don't, you don't plan that sort of stuff. Yeah.
So what's coming up for you? you got well, I, I, I mean, it, it's not really coming up, but, I, I, but it is cool. I, so I shot this web series a couple of years ago. It's called, back then, it was called Scumbag Superhero. Um, <laughs> great title. It's a great title. And when I read for it, my agent were like, you know, there's going to be no money. It's just like this web series. But you, know, you never say no. I never say no. <laughs> and, and I love the part because it's a mad scientist. Oh, wow. I had so much fun. So I never kind of thought, so anyway... Month ago, HBO picked it up. Wow! So now we're on HBO Latino, but we're also on HBO Go and HBO Now. That's great. And it's called High and Mighty. High and Mighty. High and Mighty. And, okay. Uh, uh, I teach at BGB Studios, at Risa Brayman Garcia Studios. I'm still teaching there occasionally. Um, and then I have my own class, and then I'm going to start up this Meisner class. So I'm very excited about that. It's probably going to happen, hopefully, in the next few weeks. Great. Get a space, probably in the valley. Just, you know, miser with my, you know, my own kooky prompts and stuff that I do. You're great, though. Well, thank you. If you can study with this man, do it. <laughs> well, I, we have fun. It's yes. A, it, yes. Anyway, this is so much fun. Well, you have been a delight. That's it for this episode. If you like the video you just watched, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And be sure to subscribe and come back every Wednesday for a new video. I'm Renee Pizzotta, acting my age. Let's talk about some actory things. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, I want this channel to be about giving other actors advice and hearing from people who have gone through all the crap that they go through. Don't be an actor. There's <laughs> simple as that.